New tonight, the pandemic has put a dent on the economy, but the city of Roseville is celebrating some success. That's right. New restaurants and shops are opening and they're doing well despite staffing shortages in other areas. I think everyone wants more businesses out here. They, they deserve it. There's a lot of people out here and it's, you know, it's just going to keep growing. Anytime that you want to go out to eat in Roseville, chances are you're going to run into a line out the door. KCRA 3's Brittany Hope is live in Roseville tonight on Pleasant Grove Boulevard. All right, Brittany, tell us about the development you're at tonight and what's coming to town. So really the development we're standing in right now, a lot of it is vacant, but I want to show you it's totally surrounded by new housing development. So we'll kind of pan around. Yeah, these are all empty right now, but a property owner tells me that's soon going to change. All of the units here are rented out except for one. So soon there's going to be a veterinarian's office, fitness studios, a community grocery store, lots of new things coming. But right now the heart and soul of this parking lot is the two restaurants you see behind me. Here you are. Thank you. You're very welcome. The sounds inside Mojo's, a coffee shop catty corner to Kitchen 747 in Roseville. I live about uh, two miles from here. The next door neighbors just opened at the end of 2021 and have become a new needed hotspot. I mean, before we had to travel probably about five, six miles away for something uh, just as good as this. That's why Julie Hilton ditched her longtime golf pro and house flipping careers to open the tandem eateries here. I've always thought that the west side of Roseville needed like a restaurant that people could hang out at and um, we always have to go over to like Galleria Boulevard. Can I have a chai tea latte? Chai tea latte? Since doors opened, she said it's been packed. A lot of businesses are struggling with staff and we haven't, so it's been really nice. Lots of staff are teens who live in the surrounding neighborhoods. Rare for a restaurant. Many of them fail fast. Her recipe for success? The location, really. I mean, West Park in general, there's like 30,000 people out here and there's nothing, there's not a retail center really west of Wood Creek Oaks. Housing here is booming. City leaders say on average they process 800 single family units a year. But this year, once everything's completed, it's looking a lot closer to 2,000. We are growing and we're one of the fastest growing cities in the state. Roseville's mayor says the demand for new restaurants and businesses is going up. Tons have moved into or newly opened in Roseville in the past year. What is interesting is how the pandemic has played into it. So many people have moved here from the Bay Area and Southern California, and that really adds to our diversity and what people want to see when they go out and eat. Gabby and Edgar are the perfect example. We recently moved back. Um, we were living in the Bay, and then we moved here about a year and a half ago with our children. New shops and restaurants mean less time on the road. It's nice not to drive across town for the nearest opportunity to eat. Whether to eat or play. It just has good food. And it's close to the park. So, so a just parent could take us and go and play while the others talk. Local food spots are a hole in one for Roseville. The community loves that I invested in them and kind of, you know, put this here for them to enjoy and socialize and get to know each other. So I think they're, they're giving back to me like I was hoping they would. And to add a little bit more context to the story tonight, the mayor says that 6,000 people have moved here to Roseville in the last two years alone. We're live in Roseville. Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News. Some fun options.